What's up guys, welcome to episode 8 of the van build series. So today I'm going to be installing some solar panels. I've got next to me a 20 watt solar panel and the big one here is a 100 watter. So <coughs> I'm going to have 5 100 watters and 4 20 watters so in total I'll have 580 watts and to secure it I'm going to be using this 60 mil by 60 mil angle it's aluminium so I'll be bolting that to this and I'll be sticker flexing it down with sticker flex 221 so each one of these solar panels is a different spec which means I can't put them in the same string or the same circuit because they're different voltages so what I'm going to have to do is wire up the five 100 watters in one circuit and keep the four 20 watters in a separate circuit run them down separately into separate charge controllers now i'm going to do all the electrical wiring and stuff in a future episode um, this episode is just going to be focused on mainly mounting the panels and how i'm going to do that so at the end of the episode i will talk more about series and parallel and all that stuff but for now we're just going to crack on with the mounting process so let's get into it these are the hinges i'm using for the solar panels firstly i made the holes a little larger for the screws i then measured up and drilled all the holes for the hinges The bolts countersink into the hinge and secure on the other side with a nylock nut. Next, I marked up and drilled the holes in the 60 by 60 mil angle. I also secured the two panels together with two bolts in the center. Alright, so the problem that I'm running into is that when this is flipped upside down and I'm putting it on the roof, I'm not gonna be able to get my fingers under here to these bolts to undo them. Um, so I need to have a way to access both sides so that I can lift the panels up and that they hinge. So the only way around it I can think of is if I go like that on an angle, put your washer and bolt on that side. And this way I'll be able to access either side, undo it easily. This is a high tensile not uh, bolt sorry so it's super strong one on either side 
I've bolted the panels together so it's not going to flex in the middle and yeah obviously the hinge side super secure so that's the only way around it that I can think of. Once the two corner bolts were mounted, I removed the two inside bolts. And now I just repeated this process with all the other panels. Scotch bright to roughen up where the angle will meet the van and then I cleaned it with isopropyl alcohol and a rag. And I did the same process on the bottom of the angle for the solar panels. Cut the nozzle on a 45 degree angle and I'm using Sikaflex 221. I applied a generous amount of Sikaflex and applied it in a zigzag configuration. I actually used small spaces in between the aluminium angle and the surface of the van and this allowed the Sikaflex to dry uh, a couple of mils thick. I had to cut down one side of the aluminium angle so that it could fit. So I'll let the Sikaflex dry for 48 hours and this is what the first coat looks like. I then applied a second layer of Sikaflex so that all the aluminium angles adhere to the van super strong.
now I'm just measuring up the two entry enclosures for the cables. I drilled a hole with a 25mm hole saw. And next I stick a flex 25mm coro into the holes. I then applied a generous amount of Sikaflex to the bottom and adhered it down. I taped all the cables at the bottom separately with electrical tape before I connected any of the panels. Then I connected up all the panels in parallel. I had to wire up some of the MC4 connectors, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm just wiring up the positive and the negative and then plugging it all together. So the small 20 watt panels didn't come with MC4 connectors, so I just BP'd them all together in parallel and then taped them up very well with electrical tape. Alright, so everything's wired now. So the five large panels are all, all in parallel to each other. So there's positive negative, and they come into these tri joins where it parallels up to these two panels. So those three panels are joined into this tri join, and then that goes into an outgoing lead which goes over to another tri join and parallels over to those two panels. So all the five large 100 watt panels are all in parallel, which means red to red and black to black. Now as for the 20 watt panels, these two panels are also paralleled. So all the reds are twisted together and all the blacks are twisted together. And that goes over there to this panel over here. And there's all the reds twisted together here and all the blacks twisted together. And there's actually also a cable that comes over here and that's just the same thing. So all the reds are twisted together again and all the blacks are twisted together. So these two panels and those two small ones over there are all in parallel as well. So these style connectors are called MC4 connectors. They're just plug and play. They're really easy to use. You saw me fitting them off. So they're just, really, they're just really easy, but these ones I had to actually wire and twist them. And I twisted them in BP connectors and then taped them. So as you can see, that is the five 100 watt panels coming in. 
and that is the four 20 watt panels so they're coming into different enclosures and as you saw down the, the below i taped them up so that there's no short circuiting that's going to happen yeah that's pretty much it for wiring so i said i was going to talk a bit more about series and parallel configuration so the difference with series and parallel is if you wire in parallel like i have here the voltage will stay the same so these are 18 volt panels it'll just stay 18 volts no matter how many panels you add together but if you wire in series the voltage will be the sum of the amount of panel panels why would you want to wire uh, in series or parallel well i've wired in parallel because if one of my panels gets shaded it will only affect that one panel it won't affect any of the others but if you wire it in series if you shade just a little bit of one panel the whole system gets affected but an advantage to wiring in series is it'll up your voltage so the higher the voltage of your circuit the less voltage drop that you'll get you tend to see this on solar panels on houses because there's longer cable runs so they're prone to higher voltage drop so they just series all the panels together and yeah they run at much higher voltages so my van's going to be moving around a lot and my panels may be prone to partial shading so that's why I went parallel. And when the panels were down, I actually tried to pull them up just to test how strong this Sikaflex hold was. Pulled on them really hard and they didn't budge at all. So I'm pretty confident that they're staying in place. All right guys, that's it for episode eight. These solar panels are installed. They're mounted, they're not going anywhere. I hope you enjoyed the episode. As usual, I'll be writing a blog post on this episode with costs and everything like that. So check out my website here if you want to go and check that out. So also I want to give a shout out to Tiny Tesla Life, who is a family of seven and they're currently downsizing from a large house to a tiny house. So if you want to check out their YouTube and their Facebook, click here. They're pretty awesome people and I think their journey is going to be awesome to follow. So the next episode, episode nine, is going to be about the electrical rough in and then the one after that will be cabinetry. So I hope you guys liked this episode. I hope you learned a bit. And like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.